Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. Bullying is being dealt with in many communities worldwide and here to tell us about their efforts. Please welcome Mr. San Francisco Leather 2016 Cody Elkin and Mr. San Francisco Leather 2015 Trevor Black. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you, Thank you for having us. Okay, first of all, you have to tell me about Mr. San Francisco Leather. That's been around for a while, right? It's yes. been around for quite a while, actually. Uh, just probably put it in the simplest terms, it probably had to be dated back to 1979. Mm -hmm. um, we've had many title holders who have represented uh, San Francisco uh, at a larger contest uh, in Chicago called International Mr. Leather. Okay, so this is like a, a competition, mm -hmm. and what do you what do you do to compete? So it starts off with prejudging, where you sit down with a group of judges and they ask you various questions about LGBT and different things. And then you do on stage presentation where uh, you go through a, a jockstrap portion and that you get a okay. pop question and you have to answer <laughs> it on stage. And it has a lot to do with your leather image. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you have to give a speech, a 90 second speech. And then all the scores are tallied up and they have a second runner up and a first runner up and then. And then of course, Cody Elkin. A winner. And then the winner, Cody it's, Elkin. It's the year of the bear. The year of the bear. Yes. So what was your what was your speech about? I talked about my San Francisco journey, mm -hmm. uh, where I was, and where I am today, and where I hope to go, and hopefully I win IML. And what is the I mean, is the point to raise awareness um, among the LGBT community? And I know there's a lot of fundraising involved in this as well. So I would say that a big part of the San Francisco contest is uh, nowadays to really be preserving our history. Since uh, the leather community has been around starting with uh, biker gangs, well, we'll say clubs, they're not really gangs, biker clubs <laughs> in uh, the Selma District especially uh, since you know, the early 70s, now it's slowly sort of fading away. And nowadays with people like me, I'm 23, and it's a history that I really care about. So with the contest nowadays, my biggest effort is to bring visibility within the LGBT community and uh, even throughout people from all over. And talk about the fundraising efforts and who that helps. So I've done various fundraising in the past. I've done fundraising for uh, Lazy Bear Weekend. I've done fundraising for the Bear Chest Calendar. It's, uh, I was Mr. October 2013 for it. Uh, they raise money for AIDS Emergency Fund and Positive Resource Center mm -hmm. that helps out various people who um, have low income. Uh, AIDS Emergency Fund gives a one-time stipend of $500 for people who are being evicted or they need medication for HIV. Um, I also do fundraising for a breast cancer emergency fund. My sister uh, had breast cancer and my mother passed away from it. Mm -hmm. And I like to, I'm a dog walker, so I like to do things for pets are wonderful support so people yeah. can keep their dogs and their cats while they're going through cancer or uh, HIV. And there's also a big anti-bullying campaign. Talk about that. Cody's been Mr. San Francisco Leather for only a couple days, and he's already going for it. Going for so. it. Yes. So, <laughs> that's great. That's great. So you're just jumping right in there. Jumping right in there. Uh, Facebook media has been blowing up. There's a lot of people really accepting of me, being a bear, being Mr. San Francisco Leather. But there are also, how can I say this, haters, I guess. Okay, so explain being a bear. So you can identify as a bear being any one that you want, but the traditional bear is like a guy, big guy like me that's hairy all over, head mm -hmm. to toe. Mm -hmm. I mean, Trevor's more like a honey badger or an otter. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to say, I like your hat. It looks like you have a big bite out of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. From a bear. Yes. All right, so let's go back and talk about this anti-bullying campaign. Did you have to deal with bullying growing up? I and, did. Mm -hmm. I got bullied pretty much my whole entire high school everything. I was always different. I never really knew why I was different. Um, and I just never knew. And uh, when I went to college, things started to change. And then I moved to Philadelphia and uh, I came out in Philadelphia. And when I moved here, I was more accepted for being a bear than I was in Philadelphia. So I was pretty much bullied my whole life for being hairy or different or big or, you know, there's a lot of bullying within the gay community. People don't realize that. Everybody always talks It's not talks just to... outside looking in, it's within as well. I feel oh. that as a counterculture that we are, it's already hard enough to be gay anywhere you are. But to be gay and kind of weird is insanely hard. And people just look at you in a way that is 
just not accepting even within a community that's already not accepted. Mm. So our efforts really is to show the world that we're just like you, we just are into different things. Mm -hmm. Well, you wear the leather great, Thank I, you. I must say, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. And keep up the good work, Trevor. And Cody. All thank right. You, well, thanks thank so you. much, guys. And for more information on the anti-bullying campaign and Mr. San Francisco Leather, just log on to leatheralliance.org. Again, that's leatheralliance.org. Coming up, a health care clinic with a new home providing health to sex workers and their children. We'll be right back.